Scorpio, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, welcome to 7 New Tarot. Scorpio, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now Scorpio, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot and stay tuned till the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on for you. Look at this, the hangman, nine of pentacles and the sun. Universe is letting you know, put every impression to the test and do not make any hasty decisions right now. There's something big about to manifest for you, but you don't want to be doing something unless you have that heart coherence, unless you trust yourself, or else it's gonna be that one foot in, one foot out approach. There's something, some sort of big financial opportunity being presented to you. And right now, I'm gonna show you how you can instill the confidence within you by using my manifestation technique. This works every single time. You no longer have to second guess whether or not you're doing the right thing and you're going to be able to manifest your desire into fruition quickly by tapping into this energy and I'm going to show you how to do that by the end of your read. Now check this out. You got the sun Eight of Cups, the Moon, Seven of Wands. There's a little bit of resistance there, which I'll show you how to clear. You also got the Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Lover's Card, Six of Wands. It's smooth sailing when that energy is cleared. Temperance, your angels are also trying to deliver a message to you. Now, Scorpio, your affirmation for today before we even start your read is I am grateful for money. Yes, you are money loves you. You love money. Write this down in the comment section. Invite, welcome money, which is your birthright into your life. Write this down in the comment section. I am grateful for money. Gratefulness is immediately transcendent. Type in, I am grateful for money. Write this down in the comment section. Universe is letting you know, they've been trying to give you some sort of download for quite time. They've been broadcasting this message, telling you exactly what your next step should be. Start a business, monetize a passion, how to get a promotion. Your angels and guides, they wanna see you rich. Not for one second do they want to see you suffer. So the universe, which is a friendly universe, wants to see you rich and with your soulmate. This is your birthright. And when you really start controlling your subconscious because your subconscious controls your world that's when things change and your subconscious is never sleeping it's always picking up data even when it, when you are sleeping your subconscious is not sleeping right that's actually your dreams and stuff and right now the universe is letting you know focusing on controlling your subconscious is exactly how to get there right now when you are mastering this energy you're mastering your life and I do see here that you're going to be mastering your finances very very soon here and how you control your subconscious is with your thoughts because your thoughts control your feelings and your feelings is how your conscious express emotions and impressions onto the subconscious so how you think and how you feel creates your state of being your state of being creates your reality right so if you want to talk to your subconscious you do it through feelings now universe is letting you know there is a energy that you're holding on to that has to be cleared this could be stemming from your childhood this could be stemming from a previous relationship about someone not treating you right or there's could be some sort of energy here some sort of ego energy we all have it that has to get cleared now there's good ego bad ego the ethical ego is what you want to keep but the other ego is what you have to put in check and let go of i see that the bad ego for example is making you feel as if you're doing something wrong as if you're walking on eggshells because i see here right now there's some sort of event that took place that you're still harboring and holding on to and that's only because the bad ego is making you feel as if you are in the wrong there's shame guilt embarrassment attached to our behavior that's a lower frequency but I see here that the good ego is trying to come out the ethical ego and tell you you did nothing wrong and that you learned from your lessons you are ready to move on and that's the energy you want to put into your subconscious and when your mind and your body are aligned you're in alignment so that's when you really have to control the mind when your body's in alignment when you're focusing on for example like going for a walk and doing a little exercise, your body's good to go. Now the mind is something you gotta control as well, hence meditation, hence journaling, hence taking some time to really just look at, look and, you know, reflecting on things. I see right now the, the energy towards you really cultivating a grateful practice and being in alignment, mind, body, and soul, it's all there for you. And the moment your energy is in alignment and your energy is really congruent with your goals, 
things happen, right? So it's almost like action steps are needed next, but you're having a hard time moving forward because you're second guessing yourself. Now that second guessing yourself is only because of habits. Like for example, changing your habits will change your life because you know, habits are the only thing that separates people. And by having instilling excellent habits, it is a guaranteed way of changing your life. And right now clearing the energy will show you, I'll show you how to do that to get there. Now look at this. You got the two of cups and justice. So the universe is also bringing someone into your life that is a more of a partnership, a relationship. Someone like a kindred spirit, a soulmate that's here to guide and mentor you. And I see here right now that, you know, it's like we're all naturally elevated, high frequency, high energy beings. And I see both of you guys on the same uh, energy flame, uh, energy uh, uh, um, field. And you guys are both people who are very optimistic, happy, and your soul is very connected because I see past life experiences as well. But I see that you have both you know, gone through your own experiences in this time frame and learned your own lessons and you're still dealing with these traumas right now. So if you feel like, you know, you haven't met yet, it's only because the universe is telling you that there's lessons that you currently have to, you know, really uh, resolve and really just have to figure out right now before the universe can bring you together. So understand that the sooner you start looking at life from, from the perspective of things are happening for me, the universe is not out to get me, the universe is friendly, the universe wants to help me and what is the lesson in the situation things will change and even if you feel like the universe is not delivering what you want right now it's because the universe is telling you there's something better waiting and to trust it i'll give an example a child goes up to its parents and says i want ice cream for breakfast the parents say no you are getting you know whatever is healthy that you could think of fruits vegetables eggs whatever you like to feed your child now the, the child does not understand the child says i want ice cream right now i hate you the parents say even though if you hate us we love you we're going to serve you a healthy breakfast because it's good for you same thing with the universe you may be saying where's my fancy car where's my soulmate i need it now the universe is saying there's something here that you got to do first before i can give you this ask yourself what is that thing what is that thing that you have to focus on what is the lesson in the situation figure that out then the universe will deliver now here is your animal spirit Fox spirit, think on your feet. This really means that putting yourself in a position to go on autopilot and just make the right decision by listening to your consciousness. Your consciousness is the voice of God, the, you know, the voice of reason, the voice of spirit, universe, whatever you want to call it. Your consciousness is your higher self. It always leads you to the right path. It's the infallible guide, right? Listen to your consciousness. Do not dismiss it. And I'll give you an example, right? I'll show you my manifestation technique and how it applies here. Right now, when you want to manifest something rather than manifest something as if you just got it sometimes it feels like it's not sustainable or that it's not realistic manifest it as if you've had it for 10 years so for example you want a nice house manifest you living in that dream house for 10 years you celebrated 10 birthdays there you've barbecued a thousand times you've had you've been in the pool a thousand times you've redecorated you're 10 years older your dogs are 10 years older your, your children are 10 years older you've been living there yeah, it's normal. You know, it's, it's not even something, it's just something that feels normal. That energy of already having it, that is letting the universe know, I have this, and if you have this, that means you no longer want it. If you no longer want it, that's when the universe can give it to you. This whole thing's a game, right? Law of attraction. So this trick works like a charm. I use it all the time. So even if I want to manifest a car, rather than manifest, like visualize myself in a new car right now, I visualize as if I've already had the car for about two to five years and now i'm actually looking to upgrade the car for the 2026 version now, when you don't feel like you want something and you have it then there's no resistance and when you don't resist anything you don't resist everything and that's when the universe can actually deliver it to you all right now check this out final message from the universe be spontaneous what a beautiful card that is right now the universe says when you are busy rushing, a stressed, worried, or overwhelmed, it is easy to lose track of simple things in your world that bring you joy. This is a huge nudge to remember to create some fun, right? Fun. What is fun? Fun is a high frequency. Laughter. You know, when you're when you're having a good time, what do you do? You smile and you laugh, right? That's that energy you're looking for. But when you are serious, right? Serious energy, that's the lower frequency energy and your frequency is what you frequently see. So right now, by being spontaneous, you want to go watch a movie? Go for it. You want to go for a walk? Don't worry if it's raining or not. Just go. Just put on your clothes and go, right? Just, you know, 
adjust accordingly. If you want to do something, but you feel like you're waiting to be talked out of it by your ego, don't do that. Listen to your higher self, listen to consciousness, which is again, the voice of reason. And it will always tell you to have fun, be spontaneous, be silly, take, take risks, calculate the risks that, you know, you always wanted to ask that person on a date, you know, go start that business and be spontaneous like that. And good things will come. All right, Scorpio, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.